Hey folks, Mavs Dad here back with another watch review. I've got something really interesting for you today. This is the Lumtech M69 300 meter automatic diver. What we'll do is we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the overall build quality, and then I'll give you my general impressions of this really nice Lumtech 300 meter diver. Now first I wanna talk about this watch box. This watch box is insanely nice. Now on top of it, you've got your certificate of authenticity. This comes with every Lumtech watch. But the watch box itself is just crazy nice. I'm not quite sure what type of wood it's made out of. I'm guessing maybe a pine or an ash. It's got a really nice stainless steel or aluminum plate on top, laser etched with the Lumtech logo. And it's just a really, really nice watch box. It's got a real weight to it and it just screams of quality. So Chris and the folks at Lumtech did a really good job on this watch box. Really, really impressed. I love a good presentation, and you know you're gonna get a quality watch just when you see the watch box itself. So they did a great job on this thing. Let's open this thing up, and before we look at the watch itself, there are a couple extras that it comes with. And before we look at those, of course you have all your paperwork, you have your international warranty card, an actual business card from Chris, the owner of LoomTech, and a user's manual. That comes with every LoomTech watch. And with this particular model, you get two additional straps. One is an anti-static molded rubber strap, which is right here. Really nice, you have a stainless steel buckle with a laser etched LoomTech logo in the buckle as well. You also get two extra spring bars, which is nice. But my favorite is the 316 stainless steel butterfly bracelet. I love this thing. Let me open it up and let you take a look at it. Really, really nice. You have a laser, -tech, laser etched LoomTech logo. It's got a hidden clasp. You press this and it butterflies open. Really, really nice. I love this bracelet. I love the feel of it, the weight of it. I love how it looks. Now this is a new model bracelet that they're using and I couldn't be happier with it. Super, super nice. Great job on the bracelet. So let's go ahead and take this thing out. And as usual on the left hand side of the screen, I'll go ahead and put all the basic specs of the watch. You're looking at a uh, 44 millimeter case. It is 14 and a half millimeters thick. It's got a 24 millimeter bracelet between 24 millimeter lugs. Uh, it's got a sapphire crystal. Now it's double side clear anti-reflective coating. So it's got a coating on both sides of the crystal. You've got a screw down crown with a double diamond sealing system. So it has two pronounced crown pops when you're unscrewing it because you're basically going through two sealing systems, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's got a sapphire case back, which is really nice on a 300 meter rated uh, watch really really cool it's got a Miyota 9015 automatic movement of course Miyota is, is owned by Citizen uh, it's 300 meters water resistant which is 990 feet you've got your date function over here at about 430 it's got MDV technology which is maximum darkness visibility and I'll talk more about that later again like I said you have the three straps included which are the black leather strap the molded anti-static rubber strap and the 316 stainless steel butterfly bracelet. Um, this is number 84 of 175. These are all limited edition, and this is assembled in Ohio. So first impressions, obviously it reminds me of a Panerai a lot, especially with the numbers, the dial, and the case. Um, but it's not, a, you know, it's not a copy by any means. It's LoomTech's kind of a variation of, of a Panerai, I would guess. Um, but it's, it's original enough where it's not a copy by any means. It just looks a lot like one. Um, really, really extremely visible. Love how visible this watch is. The visibility is just crazy. Especially when I, I'm gonna demonstrate that um, MDV technology here in just a second. But uh, basically, you know, you've got LoomTech underneath the 12 o'clock. Um, you have obviously, um, now this actually underneath is a laser etched dial. So you have your dial on top, then underneath that is the MDV technology that's gonna show you how bright it is. Really nice crown. This is a signed, like I said, double sealed screw down crown. Let's take a look at the, 
look at the case back. I really like, like to see in the engineering feat when they can actually engineer a sapphire case back on a 300 meter rated watch. Of course, you see it's a Japanese automatic, uh, sapphire crystal, 300 meters. It says M69, which is the model of the watch. And then you, I don't know if you can probably see that or not. Uh, it's actually number, I'm sorry, 84 of 175. So a limited edition model. Of course, you see Loom Tech on the, the, the leather bracelet there. Screw down case back. Really, really nice. I just love an exhibition case back, really do. Now again, I'm out the dial, super legible, really easy to read, not a lot, a whole bunch of extra stuff you don't need to worry about. The anti-reflective coating does a really good job of reducing glare when you're looking at the watch. Really, really nice. Um, that Miyota movement, again, made by Citizen. You have about a 42 hour power reserve on the movement. The date function, the date function for me is in kind of an odd place. One, because it's so inset on the dial. I wish they had moved it exactly between uh, the four and the five. I wish they had moved it right where my thumb is and made it a little bit bigger. Maybe put a bezel, like a white bezel around the date function so it's a little, little easier to see. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what limitations they, they had with the movement I don't know if they could have made it where the date was out further, but I wish they could move that date out a little bit further. It's just too close to the writing on the inside, as you can see down there at the bottom. It's just too close to uh, that writing down there. Uh, but again, like I said, really, re you know, really legible watch. Um, I like it a lot. I like the fact that it's assembled in Ohio. Uh, it does have obviously some foreign components, but these are actually assembled in Ohio. And uh, Lumtech's got a huge range of watches uh, and this happens to be probably my, one of my favorite styles. Again, very reminiscent of a Panerai. I wish, for one thing, that they had made the case. I wish they had done some greebling on the case. And what greebling is, basically greebling is adding interesting visual features to an otherwise uninteresting service. So if they had added some, some lines or some extra facets to this case, I mean, if you just look, it's just one kind of plain kind of arced case right here. They could have added some interesting design elements to the case just to make it a little more interesting looking. Maybe by adding some more polished and brushed surfaces. Um, and that, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, it's a personal preference. I just wish the case itself had a little more character to it. But, you know, add some more facets, uh, add some, I don't know, some lines, some, some etching, some something to the case. Maybe, maybe some markings on the outside bezel. Again, this is all personal preference, but um, I think it would just add a little more visual interest to the case of the watch. Now, it's obviously, it's not going to detract from the face because the face, again, I've said this like 10 times now, it's really legible. You look down this watch and within a half a second, you know what time it is. You, it's not very cluttered. You don't have to you know, look at like a different, you know, like a chronograph with different sub dials. You know exactly what time this watch is. And when you see it in the dark, it's it's just crazy, crazy bright. Cause that um that MDV technology that has eight layers of super luminova paint applied to the index. This like I said, this is a laser etched watch face, and underneath is that layer with the MDV. So I, I think it's probably a plate coated with that paint, and then on top you have the laser etched watch face. So it does give it some depth when you're looking at it, which is really nice. And let's go ahead and try this thing on. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and try it on. I'll take off my trusty Citizen Pro Master that I've fallen in love with for the, in the last year. And I'll try this thing on and I'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it again. Hold on just a second. All right, folks, I'm back. There you go. So it's got some nice wrist presence. It's, it's way too small for me, as you can see, we're at the last hole there on the bracelet. Uh, it's way too small for me. Uh, but it does, I mean, it has some nice wrist presence to it. So I definitely like uh, the way it looks on the wrist. I like that, that alternate red stitching on the black. And these come in multiple different variations. And I'll try to put as many of those uh, links in the description field as I can for you. Lumtex makes a very wide array of different styles of watches. And this is probably one of my favorites. So let me take this thing off. We'll test out that um, MDV technology. Hold on just a second. All right, I'm back. So let's go ahead and kill the studio light. Let's go ahead and charge this thing up with my mag light. 
and you'll see just how bright eight layers of Super Luminova is. Uh, I mean, this thing glows and glows and glows. And their famous, Lumtech is famous for this uh, MDV technology. Really, really cool. So there you go. Again, it'll glow like this for a very, very long time. Really nice. Now they also have different colors on different models. Uh, some is like an orange color. Some is uh, like a light green, dark green, blue, yellow. They have multiple different colors they can use depending on the watch that you get. But I just love this loom. Really, really nice loom. All right, folks, so there you go. Uh, I like this watch. Again, I just wish the case itself had more character to it. That's my only gripe. I love the build quality. I love the weight, the feel, the general look. I just am not super crazy about this case. They could just, you know, do a little more design work on it. Um, I mean, I don't know how much you could actually do to it, but maybe, like I said, add some more facets. Just make it maybe a LoomTech logo, possibly over here, maybe a small one. Um, just do something with these cases to just make them a little more visually interesting. Because when you look at this, you really do think it's a Panerai until you look at it, you know, uh, you know, upon further inspection, you see that it's a LoomTech. And this watch stands, you know, so tall on its own. I don't want people to, you know, look at it and say, oh, that's just a Panerai knockoff. And that is not what this watch is. I assure you. It's a very, very nice watch. And, um, and you know, there are a whole bunch of other LoomTech models that look nothing like this. Uh, they're totally unique and different. Not that this isn't unique and different, but it just a, looks a little too much like a Panerai for my personal taste. Uh, and that's why I would say, hey, go ahead and make the case a little bit different. Do something with the case. I know I keep harping on the case, but that's really the only thing about this watch that I don't like. I like the fact that you get all those other um, additional bracelets. I love the uh, MDV technology. I love the legibility of the watch. Again, take that date window, push it further out on the dial, make it a little bit bigger, put a bezel around it. Um, the hands are fine. The second hand is fine. Um, the crown is fine. Um, so those are just my, you know, just my little critiques. Would it keep me, you know, from buying one of these? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think I'd still want it just because it's such a quality watch. It's so well made. I love the fact that it's assembled in America, you know, by an American company. Um, I really, I really like that. Now, what I would probably do is I, I might get a different model, possibly maybe one of the other 300 meter divers. Um, I mean, I, I like the watch. I absolutely like it a lot. I really do. I mean, I love good craftsmanship and this watch screams of, of good craftsmanship. And that's why you pay for a more expensive watch. This list on LoomTech's site for about $865. So it is by no means an inexpensive watch. Um, but I might go for a different model, a different look. And that's just me personally. You know, some of you guys might see this and just absolutely fall in love with it. Don't care that it looks like a Panerai. Um, and that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, it's different enough that unless you were a watch person, you probably wouldn't even, a lot of people, you know, unless you're watching my videos, a lot of people don't even know what Panerai's are. They have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but again, you know, unless you're a watch person, you're not really going to know. But if you are a watch person, you'd say, hey man, that person's got a Panerai. And those start at, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. I mean, they're, they're, they're really expensive. So anyway, that's been it for this one. I've got some more stuff coming. I've got a really nice Casio um, G-Shock. It's basically like the king of G-Shocks coming up in the next couple days. And uh, that's been it, folks. If you like this video, please click on like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. I'm really psyched. I'm really happy. And I'll put a little reminder of that in the lower right-hand corner. And again, I'll put all the links to this model and the different variations of this model in the lower right-hand corner. I'm sorry, in the description field. So you can take a look at those and head over to LoomTech and take a look at their vast array of models. They've got a ton of different models of watches. Um, and they're, they're not cheap watches, folks. They're, they're, they're expensive watches, but you're gonna pay for quality. And I think it's worth it. This might not be my particular watch so far as looks goes, uh, but they have a couple other models that I would definitely, definitely pick up. So there you go. 
Again, this has been the LoomTech M69 300 meter automatic diver. And uh, go to LoomTech's site and pick one up if you like it. Until the next review, see y'all later. Bye-bye.